was about to say my chat box better go away. Ooh. So many kids. They'd be like rare. I didn't ask for the rare. <laughs> Pretty fucking cool, not gonna lie. To what? Huh? What are you gonna be forced to do? And think about this. Along with uh, doing Tessa casting. I think it's fine. I should have not used my star so soon. I kind of fucked, <laughs> fucked myself over. In regards to like damage and such. You're taking so much damage and I don't understand why. Game, why you have to hurt? Please tell me you're at least doing your 1-2 combo. Or 1-2-3. Okay, that's a cold boss mechanic. <laughs>
make sure you have a decent shield on. Okay. Yeah, definitely this would be the last one. Now imagine if World of Warcraft did this. Tank Buster. So did I change this? Now I'll save my star for the um a little bit. Uh Too bad. Yay! <laughs> First boss, not too bad. It's a ring. Yes. I don't have Rogue Ninja leveled at all. I should have actually greeted on that. Oh well. Keeping them fully ish. Just worried about Tank's health is like, ah. Ooh, healing ring. About time. I haven't had a ring in a while. Oh, I'll have to put it on later. You over here thinking like, where is he gonna stop? <laughs> So I'm going to have my three star stack at the start of this boss. I assume it's the boss. You hit PCA. I love how they made it clear as to what's a tank buster now.
That's a front. Inhale. Ooh, change into a word snake thing. Hmm. Hee hee, I guess right. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Big sad. I'm fine here. As far as I'm aware. I learned. Fine tank. Right about here. Dungeon loot. Me over here, happy and giddy. <laughs> I cannot let you take me to you. Not yet. That ability, but whatever. Oh, the sad little peep sound. Oh, God, we be flying today, boys. Birds. Y'all are assholes. I'll take that for when I tank. Or if I win it, that is. the card. Okay. 
Gunbreaker-caster. Ooh, Gunbreaker weapon. Now I have a three stack of that. Focus killing on this one, fuck it. Why, when you can cleave them both down? Well. Too lazy, I guess. Which could potentially kill a tank, but. Ooh, it's kind of got a wing on that. You over here looking at dungeon gear. <laughs> oh. Hello, boss. Hello, Hermes. So, it comes to this. Yes. I have no wish to fight, but this time, I cannot yield. You could just fly away the again, world just saying. Think me a mad, desperate fool. I will hold fast to my conviction. Okay, sir. I will have the time and tranquility I require. Gust and Gale, gather to me! Myself, this card. Pieces, Brad. Unleash your power. Maybe an angle? Yeah. Dancing winds. Here's my foes. Stars on high. Fall is rain. Stop moving. Get hit. Yep. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to that. Not gonna lie. Here's my phone. Okay, I can recover with mana. Hey, mana's full already. Let's fucking go.
stars on high. Fool is rain. No, no, there's more. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh. Did it. <laughs> no. My power. Oh, Hermes. My character looks so pissed when she's right there. She's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> It's over, Hermes. In the name of the Convocation, I hereby take Meteon into custody. Oh, why not let her finish, you know, telling everyone what the fuck is happening? The matter of your nomination, you will come with us too. We require your knowledge to assess and resolve the situation. Exactly. <sighs> come on, Hermes, you'll be fine. Like Meteon, I am so sorry for that I could have listened to your report in full, reflected upon its meaning, and conveyed it to others, that they might reconsider their chosen course. But they're dead, how- But I have failed. And that wish will never be realized. However, hmm. ere our fates become the province of others, I bid you tell me just one thing. Is anyone alive? Was there happiness in those distant stars? More than likely not. Because everyone was dead. Was like, how can you? Mm. A reason for living. This man. We conducted our search as per your instructions. We scoured historical records, communed with the spirits of the deceased. Hmm. Heard the final testaments of the dying. Welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. One race had striven to create a world <gasps> bereft of animosity. She's shifting. They renounced relationships to avoid interpersonal strife. And in so doing, brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced war and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. They were conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. Sounds like us. One race had concluded 
that finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. They discovered nothing is infinite, and that neither time or death can be cheated. Disillusioned, they gave up on the future and themselves. Yep, that sounds like people. <laughs> that sounds like a modern society. Discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow, hoping to have only joy. They found joy lost its savor in the absence of sorrow and lost their will to live. Mm. The worlds apart, these peoples shared a belief. The belief that they had tried their best. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which, they learned the truth. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair, of loneliness, so long as they yet lived. Even now, their souls cry out for oblivion. And to this song of anguish, I lend my voice. We lend our voice. Yeah, because her and her sisters oh, communicate. Oh, beloved mankind, shimmering jewels of beautiful Atheris, rejoice, for we will free you from the cruel yoke of existence. Oh, that's why she said to protect there is them. No Struggle in vain, for in nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and serenity, and it will be beautiful. We will make our nest at the edge of the universe, and there in the dark of dead worlds hoard sorrow and suffering. There we will sing, our chorus ever louder and ever clearer, that our song may reach even this ether-shrouded star. Such is the answer we have found in the stars. Such is the gift we now offer to a fairies. We live or die. Right? But that sounds like the final days. Hermes? Really? Have you lost your mind? You heard what she said. She means to destroy us all, yet you'd still take her side? In the name of the star, we have discarded those creations that we deemed flawed. If we ourselves are flawed, it does not stand to reason that we too should be discarded. Into the final days. That is sophistry, and you know it. Oh, and this is what triggered the dark Perhaps path. It is. Perhaps I am wrong. But who is to say that you are right? Fucking Hermes. Let us settle this with a determination. In my authority as chief overseer of Elpis, I will make a judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, uh. even should his end be justified, he will surely find a way to avert his demise. 
If not, he will perish from the star. As with all determinations, provisions must be made to ensure fairness. Kairos! Awaken! Kairos? Memory reconfiguration system Kairos activated. Awaiting instruction. Oh no. Command. Universal memory alteration. Target area. Catesis Hyperborea. No. Starting point. Arrival of Emmett Selk. Of the convocation at Propylion. Endpoint. The present. Raise the memories of all events and replace with a vague recollection of the following. Oh, fucking. This is how they Kairos probably, here. you know, went Preparing bad. I'm to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to Emmett Selk and Hithidaeus. Meteon's shared consciousness became unstable. She and her sisters could not sustain their existence. And all dissipated the burst. The resultant shockwave accidentally triggered Kairos, which erased several days of memories from all present. Execute. Command acknowledged. Initializing. Three processes remaining to execution. Bravo. I dare say one would be hard pressed to make it fairer. Everything that you told us, everything that has happened, the fact we've even met, it will all be gone. Fuck. Go, Mito. To the edge of the universe, where none can reach you. Hermes, won't you come with me? If you were to shed your flesh, I should be able to carry you. <laughs> I will remain. As a man, I will oppose the oblivion you bring. Silly fool. Had you said yes, I would have granted you the gentlest end. So, as far as I can tell, she is the reason why there's the this final days. Fly, Mision. You didn't teach her how to fly, though. Oh, well, I guess she did. <sighs> That is far enough, Hermes! Kick his ass! Get him! Get him a bit! <laughs> Argos, to me! So that's the shooting star that she mentioned. Complete. Two remaining to execution of memory reconfiguration. Oh no. As if we needed more pressure. No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future. Your world. This fight. Oh, he's a black mage. Fight. What comes after oh. our <laughs> Sorry. I'm admiring the background more than the story. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. You must flee this place with your memories intact, and I will see that you do. Now oh, there's another one. Where is it? There you are, my little confluence. They're going the same speed. Oh no, she's slowly catching her. Almost. 
and before she just oh she turned into a bird now you've marked it Meteon's gotten away. For now. Second process complete. One remaining to execution. Quickly. No, no time for brooding. Listen well. Beyond lies a spatial confluence that connects the interior sections of this building. I will destroy the confluence and force open a way outside. When I Ooh. do, you must jump through. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. You're not sorry, motherfucker. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it. But neither mm. can I let you escape. You should have opened the thing. Well, there we go. Too brave by half. <laughs> Fucking Emmett. Exemplary work, as always, Emmett Selk. What? But how? I thought the confluence was over. Over there? Yes. We were rather hoping we would. It was never anywhere but where it is now. The instant those two began making their way towards nothing, it was clear the plan was a diversion. I'm quite hmm? incapable of destroying a confluence, I must confess. I'm confused. A gambit brazen beyond words. Though we've grown accustomed to reckless improvision due to the antics of an incorrigible associate, Though, in the case of certain present company, incorrigible is an understatement. So is everything fine then? I'm beginning to suspect it's a requirement for every asset. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> I'm like, I, my brain is so fucking confused now. There's no time! Quickly! Even now, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Still, if it must be said... This would be the reason why. Do not squander it, the legacy I leave you. Oh. <laughs> Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. So me and Highland got away. Oh, Emmett. You sassy ass bitch. You're a good guy and a bad guy at the same time. I have, like... Ah. No wonder Young likes him so much, not gonna lie. We has escaped. Now what? Merged into a big doggo. <laughs> I'm fine. Just a little tired. Take a break. Eat something. Take care Can of yourself. True. Are we the only ones left who see beauty in the world? In life? 
Are the stars above no more than husks of fallen civilizations? Oh, hi, Dylan. And yet... I feel her. Though she is unimaginably distant, I feel Meteon's presence. And the place where too we must go. Ere she made good her escape, I placed an enchantment upon her. One which allows us to follow her trail. She has already left the outermost bounds of Atheris and continues on her way. Given the vastness of the universe, it will still be no easy feat to track her down. But thanks to Emmet Selk and his Ladeus, all is not lost. We remember. So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. What become of the others, I wonder. So what you know what? I wonder. I actually wonder about that. I'd like to know too. Let us ascertain the situation at Cutesis Hyperborea, where they should still be. God, that's such a pretty picture. Oh. Given the likely state of their memories, however, it would be imprudent for us to approach them directly. In which case. I'm sorry, my friend. I've asked much of you this day. But may I trouble you one last time? Oh, Luffy Doggo. Argos will investigate in our stead. We will share in his consciousness and see and hear as if we were with him. Now. Close your eyes and open your mind. God, she's such a cool being. Flashbang. Thank goodness you are unharmed. Unharmed? There is a gaping hole in my memories. I can scarcely remember arriving here in Alpus. Wow. Forgive me. I was preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to our guests. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. But Meteon. Her shared consciousness became unstable. And oh, she, yeah, he doesn't remember either of them. She... So, that's what prompted the state of alert. And when you went to investigate, you were caught in Kairos' accidental operation. So it would seem. It's all a blur to me. Such an unfortunate accident. Oh, and what of Vinar and your other companion? You went inside together, as I recall. Uh-oh. We did? If Vinar was with us, I have no recollection of it. I mean, you all lost your memory. But that there is her familiar, is it not? The fellow seems happy enough, so... I think it's safe to assume his mistress is well. I haven't the slightest notion who this other companion might be, however. Ah, well, that individual struck me as a bit different, for want of a better word. Perhaps it wasn't actually a person, but some manner of creation. Aren't we all Curious. creations, though? I must ask Vinara about it when next we meet. Yes, yes, you do that. Now, if we may tend to Hermes, 
Whatever this Meteon did, it seems he bore the brunt of it. Hmm. Once you are fit to travel, you will return with us to Amarot. We need to make certain there are no other ill effects. Also, I am here on business of the 14. We've already had the conversation, like as not, but since your toy wiped my memory, we'll have to have it again. <laughs> yes, of course. As you see fit. It's like angry, angry noises. This Kairos, it manipulates memories through the emission of etheric waves, correct? There is a theory which holds that memories scoured by blasts of ether are restored when the soul is cleansed in the underworld. If true, then perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. I doubt aught of interest occurred. Look forward to the revelation if you like, but I should prefer to reminisce on more meaningful moments. Let us rest, if only for a while. Just lay After down in the grass we'll and look die. up at the stars. Oh, we still have a long, long way to go. Me here, who was like... Meteon. I, I really adored her. She was adorable, and then suddenly she's the bad guy. Or a bad guy. I was like, no, my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> 